Stella Bay is going to be one month old by next week. Now, as you all know, what happened with Stella Bay at the time of its release, many people complained there was censorship, like the costume, and the only way that, and the only way people don't do, perhaps they want to play uncensored, buy this version and don't update it, which is what I'm doing. If you don't know, I mean, if you see many of the clips that I'm showing you, like the video game clip, all that you can see i didn't even patch the game i'm not having new game plus yet of which i am going to be playing again and again this time with different language by may 26 or june 26 or anything i'm going to be i'm going to be giving my full impressions on the game but it may take a while keep an eye out for that now let's get into this article from fandom falls this is about four days ago at least at the time of this upload or three based lollipop chainsaw repop developer yoshimi yasuda against censorship like Eve from Stella Blade. I haven't exactly played this game, but if Yoshimi Yosuda says that he is against censorship, well, I'm probably putting it on my anti-woke detective. Now, if you don't know, Yasuda is actually the president of Dragami Games, has announced that upcoming Lollipop Chainsaw Repop will include a total of 30 costumes that is both old and new design. The game will introduce four hair colors for new chainsaw, resulting in a possible 480 costume variation. You guys read this, but I'm gonna can pause the video if you want to read this. One thing I'm trying to get into is this. When he teased the return of the legendary zombie hunter, obviously aware of the Stellivate Eve censorship fiasco, which he is aware, I'm certain he's aware, Yoshimi Yasuda this week confirmed that developers of Lollipop Chainsaw Repop feels the same way as gamers about censorship. She's hot. She's blonde. She's white. Her name is Juliet Sterling, the game's sizzling protagonist. But will Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, Juliet Starling, I believe it's called Starling, too hot to handle for Kotaku and IGN, and consequently for Sony? Yasuda, which are developers of Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, announced on X, we already touched on this, you guys can read it. The announcement immediately raised concern about fan, well, they, they raised concern with fans about whether the game will be censored like Stellabate from EVE. User Rion, user Rion, I can't even say the word, asked, but will it get a day one patch? That's right. Another user, Jack E. Waller, went further. I'll just have to wait until release it to see how much faithful remastered any form of censorship whatsoever. I'm not gonna even bother. I still have the original if I really want to replay it. Okay, you have the original. Now, before we continue any further, right now, everyone is concerned. There are me concerned, which I'm certain Kotaku and IGN is probably monitoring this. And right now, Moon Studio is also defending gamers, but sadly, it is unknown by this time. Until I get more information, I'm not gonna be putting this game either on woke or anti-woke detected on my third channel. So until I get enough information, I'll put it in. There, these only two of many fans who are concerned of Lollipop Chainsaw Repop will be censored like Stella Blade. Yasuda, obviously cognizant of the fiasco caused by censoring Stella Blade Eve, took the act to ally their fears and posted, we, the original staff, feel the same way about censorship as you do. Lollipop Chainsaw Repop at repop they feel the same way which is pretty based by yoshima yasuda however whether that means lollipop chainsaw repop will be uncensored on sony is unclear this statement made it clear that the original stuff developing chainsaw repop posed censorship but yoshimi yasuda statement doesn't make it clear that lollipop will remain uncensored this depends on the platform okay i'm not certain if they're going to make specifically console exclusive which i hope yasuda realized that one platform is not enough and this is one of the reasons there are many other reasons but i would like to have censorship a part of those reasons and if you make it multi-platform like say either ps5 xbox pc but most importantly pc guess what you send it pc uncensored people can have the best of their life i haven't exactly played the original yet based on what, what i know what i've seen it looks like a good game we're asians okay but still i'm a bit skeptical it could be censored so my best bet for yasuda uh mr yasuda if you're watching this i recommend you put it in multiple platforms not just the ps5 but the xbox and pc but most importantly the pc so that gamers can easily play it uncensored because i think pc is better not only that you can even mod it in case if they did censor it Adam, do you meet Airborne Squad members from the colony often? No, not really. Yesterday, I just happened to be around the area. I've never seen such a large-scale airborne operation. Why did you save me? <laughs> I'm not really sure. It just felt right, like I was meant to. It's hard to describe. It's just a... Uh, Short, intense feeling.
leave a like and subscribe and also there'll be more rebel content in the description down below and all of my woke videos in there and also again if you guys want to see more new woke or anti-woke detected visit my third channel up here